It's really great to be here. Ten years ago, we set up YouthWorks to work creatively with the very most disconnected and vulnerable young people in our community. YouthWorks is a youth media social enterprise that trains and employs young people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness in creative and commercial media production. We've built two core programs, the support of the accredited training program based around hands-on film and radio and a film production business where we employ graduates of the training. Our business primarily produces content for the not-for-profit sector. But I have to share with you a recent success story about an original narrative drama film that we made. Two years ago, on top of our client work, we decided to make a little film called Brown Paper Bag about the impact the Indigenous author and storyteller Buri Monty Pryor has on a young Cree boy who's been mucking up at school. And I've worked with many of these boys. I used to teach at Northland Secondary College and I've seen the impact of Buri <laughs> as well. At the time, we had absolutely no funds to make this film, but we knew we had a really beautiful and important story to tell. So we went ahead anyway and employed four of our young people who'd come through our training program as, as core crew to help make it. Ten days ago, that little film won Best Indigenous Film at the St Kilda Film Festival. <laughs> That's actually pretty amazing, especially when you saw that some of the films were up against people like Warwick Thornton, who made Samson and Delilah, and, and some of the films have gone on to Academy Awards from that festival. In the same festival, a client film we produced with an organisation called Aleph that supports the Jewish LGBT community also screened. Two widely divergent films, both promoting inclusion, one narrative, one doco, both selected within Australia's top 100 short films for 2017. That is huge for us. For a small organisation like us to have two films in such a prestigious festival is all the more remarkable when you consider our primary mission is not to make films. Our primary mission is to support marginalised young people to become fully engaged, creative members of society who have the tools to be agents of change within their own life. Filmmaking is the vehicle, but the destination is transformation. Our mission is to use creative media to engage the most vulnerable young people in the community. Traditionally, service in this sector focus on survival needs, food, blankets, or very basic training. There's a really good reason why they do. But we also recognise that we not only need to nourish the body, we need to nourish the spirit too. And sometimes that's the thing that can make the difference. Over many years, work, I've worked for 25 years in education, film, the community sector, I've come to believe that creativity is for the spirit what food and shelter is for the body. But as much as we need a roof over our head and food on the table, we also need to be creatively engaged in the narrative of our life to feel like we have the capacity to contribute, to have a reason to get up in the morning. At YouthWorks, I wanted us to create an environment where so-called at-risk, because in some ways I think it's the system that's at risk of failing these young people, so-called at-risk young people get the opportunity to take creative risks, constructive life-enhancing risks, not risks that lead to a prison cell. So, we want these young people to test the corners of their soul, to feel the breadth of their spirit while developing real, solid skills that give them choices in who they can become. One of our young people recently said this, about the experience of working YouthWorks. YouthWorks specifically, they give you the tools to fix your own life, as opposed to doing it for you. I haven't seen anywhere else with the same capacity to just give somebody that window of opportunity, that capacity to build themselves up rather than do it for them. I've not only crewed on dozens of films, I've also directed and produced a lot of my own. And honestly, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't find myself, didn't find a passion, and find people that supported that and make those changes that I did. YouthWorks has now achieved over 150 accredited training outcomes. Employed, put money in the pocket, and, and this is the thing, so many, the, to actually put money in the pocket of these kids. Employed more than 50 highly at-risk young people and produced more than 300 commissioned films for over 80 organisations. We've made films about kids in care and homelessness, climate change and asylum seekers, films that reflect on mental and sexual health. We've worked with NGOs, local councils, government, schools, we're based here in Melbourne, but have rolled tape in Cairns and Canberra, Adelaide and Sydney, Townsville and Darwin. Only last week, a small team, including a couple of our young producers, were sitting in a riverbed in Alice Springs interviewing a local elder. What differentiates us from any other film production company is on every film we make, we employ young people. As writers, camera operators, directors, editors, designers and producers. 
The real challenge, we believe, is being brave enough, patient enough and intelligent enough to create the right environment for at-risk young people to succeed. Because it's not a magic wand and it does not happen overnight. And as I said, I've been in this business for about 25 years. What is the right environment where we can cultivate success? In 2008, we set up a creatively immersive environment, not, a, not in a school type setting or a classroom where stu students know failure, but by creating a studio in an old factory where we could develop a collaborative model of learning. We introduced film and radio and provided the best possible equipment we could. Big fat professional quality cameras that make you feel dignified when you use them. Big screen Apple Mac computers that speak of aesthetic beauty and creative possibility. Earlier we on, we understood short workshop programs are not enough, so we partnered with the TAFE and MIT to run accredited training on our site and now deliver Cert 2 and 3 in creative industries. That buys us 12 months with young people. We employed a youth worker to support the welfare needs and an industry trainer to support technical and artistic development. But all of this still wasn't enough. So at the end of 2009, we started a film production business where we could also employ graduates of the training so they could turn their creative skills into commercial food on the table skills. Despite massive odds, I'm saying massive odds, no one thought we'd last a year. We've been in business ever since. But we do need your help to grow further. At present, we only have the capacity to employ four to five young people at any given time, and it's just not enough. I wish I could employ 20, and I would tomorrow if we had more support and if we had some resources, if we had more and better equipment and could bid for bigger jobs. If we can raise 10,000 tonight, that'll allow us to buy another film kit so we can have a number of crews out and about doing work. Just the last couple of weeks, I've had to knock back jobs because we, couldn't, we didn't have enough equipment to send out multiple crews. These jobs would have allowed us to employ another couple of people. 25,000 would allow us to also purchase specialist gear, dollies, steady cam, a small crane to get those beautiful moving shots to enhance the level of production and pitch for bigger jobs. This in turn allows us to employ more young people. Well, if we can raise 50,000, that's a total game changer. I could employ someone to run the business and allow me to focus on the big picture of working towards an expanded hub model. We know what we do works. To this point, everything we've done has been against the odds, honestly. Yet we can so clearly see now what is possible. And imagine, just imagine what we could do if the odds were in our favour and if we had the resources to do what we know we can do. Thank you.